Hey folks, welcome back to Florida Food Forest. Today we're looking at the spiral ginger, or how easy it is to propagate. Ooh, that's gonna make me cross-eyed doing that. Let's go check out the spiral ginger. Now here's that pit I dug, I don't know, what, a week ago now? Everything is slowly coming back. <laughs> yeah, some of them got really hurt by it, but we have a bunch of new growth coming back, which is awesome. These are definitely looking a lot happier. I accidentally pulled out a pigeon pea, so I just threw that there until those seeds decided to erupt out of the ground. And there we go. I just threw some green matter on top of the pile and call it good. And when that flattens out a little bit more, I'm going to have some more pots back here with some peppers and whatever else. I got pots all over the place. There's a Bach Reaper. And the plant needs some nutrition for sure, but that's like three years old. That dude is a happy little guy. Once I get it some more nutrition, it'll be fine. See, peppers have that defense mechanism. You can never hurt me. And I'm over here like, bah, peppers make mouth ouchy, ouch, yum, yum. Oh, mm, ouch, mm. <laughs> All right, now that I have that weirdness out of the way, I am looking at the spiral ginger in the Florida food forest. It's a really, really easy plant to grow. It loves shade, so if you have a shady spot, definitely put some of this in that area. Those yellow flowers on that, that cone there, they're absolutely delicious. Definitely an easy plant to grow. I stuck a cutting in the aeroponics cloner a couple weeks ago, and bam, it shot out roots really quick. And I'll show you that cutting right now. And here is that cutting. And I mean, it is rocking and rolling. So I'm going to cut up a bunch more and put it in the sections. I'm going to show you how I do that. Now, here's what I'm working with, the spiral ginger. It's weirdly, it's it's kind of sticky. The other leaves, I don't know how well that's going to show up, but they got little fine hairs on it. It feels kind of like a, a pool table. It, it, interesting. But I don't see any flowers or cones starting on these. Well, those cones are they're really cool they'll be covered in ants ants aren't fools man <laughs> they know where the sweet stuff is at those flowers have lots of sugars and stuff on them they're absolutely delicious so that's why i plan on making a whole bunch more of these add them into different dishes and salads you name it it would be definitely definitely for something people to talk about anyways is they enjoy that of course some people you can't convince to try anything oh i'm not gonna try that oh no i don't i don't i don't like to try anything new i i, I like to stay just stay with just whatever fast food has to offer me yeah okay good luck with that but i'm gonna clone these and get a bunch more flowers whether you like to eat the flowers or not that's your choice it does make it like i said it's beautiful so it's a nice thing to add to your landscape they like shade so all I'm going to do is I'm going to section these up and I'll be right back with that and show you how I did it. See this one right here is getting ready which is really awesome. See this cone right here it's going to start to turn red and there'll be little yellow uh, yellow flowers puffing out of that cone. I'll show it in you know future videos what it does. Anyways you pull those yellow guys off of there throw them in your mouth they're good. Wait until the flower starts to open up. Now here's what I did. I just cut it up in the sections here. Two, uh, uh, three, and there's some fours in here. I want to have the best success possible for this. Because I want to add it to my Florida food forest and spots where I have grass. I don't want to mow any grass anymore. I'm done. <laughs> I still have to do a little bit, but not much. I did that enough as a career and don't want to do that anymore. So I'm going to add in some spiral ginger and some shady, shady spots that grass is growing. Boo, grass. The only grass I want to grow is probably just lemongrass. And that's about it. I can use that as a chop and drop too. It's one of the things I like to do for my Florida food forest is get a plant not just for its looks, not just for its edibility, but maybe it's a dual purpose, looks, edibility, feeding bees or birds. I like those multi-purpose plants, not just for feeding me, but also feeding the animals and maybe feeding your soul. Flowers are uh, colorful and help feed the soul. And so that's pretty much it. I'm going to take you around to some of the areas where I plan to put this stuff. I mean, there's, a, there's a lot here. I don't know if all this is going to grow. Man, it's going to be something else if it does. This stuff easily spreads by itself. But definitely a cool plant i'm spreading around my florida food forest here to try to fill in those areas i'll take you around for that let's go all i'm gonna do is just loosen up the soil a little bit i pulled the weeds out of here 
but just gonna loosen up the soil a little bit so I can push those in. I don't think I'm gonna push them in far, but just enough to get them covered up. And then go from there. Turn it out a little bit. Alright, now we're ready to put some some of those cuttings in there. Now here's what I did with those cuttings. I just put them a quarter inch, half inch into the ground. Hopefully this will catch and this Florida food forest is gonna be rocking and rolling. He said just a quarter inch, half inch into the ground. I did water them in because I want the most success possible. So I'll help them get started. After they're going, you can neglect them. At least that's what I'm finding with this one here is I, I don't water it. I don't really take care of it. It just kind of does its own thing. And there you go. Well, I hope you enjoy the video. If you like it, subscribe. Hit the bell notification if you like. Other than that, I'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Oh, I love you, Spiral Ginger. Mm.